Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Good, very good. How was your day? A little tired. Okay. What time do you start working? At 8 a.m. 8 a.m. And what time do you finish? At 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Is your work near your house? Yes. It's, it's what, what's the distance? And I'm not sure, but three or five kilometers. Oh, it's not far. No. In 10 minutes, I stay. stay at Good. Shanita, how was your day? Hello. Um, fine. <laughs> okay, good. Do you guys go to sleep early or do you go to bed late? People? A little late. <laughs> okay. And, and if you go to bed late, how do you feel the following day? Don't you feel tired? Don't you feel, feel tired? A little bit? Yes, a, a little, little bit. bit. Okay. Especially after lunch, after you eat, mm -hmm. your body mm -hmm. wants to rest. But... Anyways, so what's today's date? What's today? People, Shanira, Guadalupe, Nelly, Raul. Hello. Uh huh. What's, what's today's today date? date? Uh, the date. Uh, yeah. What's today's date? Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Thursday. And what's the date? October seventh. It's. 17, okay. October, October 17. 17, okay, good. Raul, when is your birthday? My birthday is on October 23rd. In oh. fact, it's the next week. Next week, okay. <laughs> so give us cake in the conference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nelly, okay. when is your birthday? On uh, January 9th. Guadalupe, when is yours? Thirty one. Of what? Of December. Oh, 31st of December. Uh, 31. 31st. Ah, 31st. Good. Shanira, no. when is yours? April 8th. Uh, in Flor, when is your birthday? Uh, 31 December. Really? Yes. 31st. 31st, sorry. Yes. 31st, yes. Okay. okay, so Guadalupe and Flor, they were born the same day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, you guys were the New Year's present for your families. All right, <laughs> Jose, Hi. Jose, Jose, how was your day, Jose? I'm doing good, and you? Thank you for asking. Okay, when is your birthday, Jose? It's uh, January 5th. January 5th. Corina, when is your birthday? Hello, my birthday is in April 14th. Okay, and Lucrecia, when is yours? Uh, my birthday is uh, October 28. 28. Oh. Yes. In a couple of, of weeks. In a, in a couple of days. In a couple of days. Yeah. Yes. So are you going to give us cake? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> a toxic, a toxic cake. <laughs> oh, okay. The, the chocolate cake. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so put a... It's delicious. Yeah, very, very delicious. Okay, uh, once again, we have that noise, like someone lives very near the freeway. 
I'm, I'm not in, in, in this case. <laughs> it's not you. No. <laughs> okay. I, I think it's Flor's uh, location. Flor, do you have a street near where you are right now? What? I don't understand the question, sorry. Are you near a street? Is your room near to the street? Are you close to main street of your house? Flor, can you hear me? Uh, a little, a little, a little um, cupped. Now, now. Yes, right. yes. Are you close to the street? Um, no, 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 no are the close to the street. Okay, fine. All right, yeah. so let's begin. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's talk about yesterday. Uh, what were the topics we covered yesterday? Um, the models. Model birth. And what was the function? Be polite. Well, Okay, so we were using modal verbs to sound polite when we need something, when we want to tell people something wrong. Did you hear what I said? No. Okay, let's do to the noise. Okay, uh, I was saying that we use modal verbs in, in yesterday's session uh, to sound polite and when we need people to do something for us. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes. So can you give me an example of, um, of a request using a model? Anybody? Would you please? Would you please? Give him an uh, example. Good. Would you please give me an example? Very good. What else? Nelly, Raul, Annie. Uh, can, you please help us please. can you can you repeat the question, please? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. Jose, you were saying. Hey, could you please help us improve our English? Okay, good, very good. Corina, what do you have? Um, can you can you please stop stop noise? Okay. Yes. Hey, Francisco, can you please stop talking? <laughs> Francisco, you talk too much. <laughs> All right, good. So those are examples when you are making a request, when you need uh, another person to do something for you. Now, not only we use the models, but we also need to use magic words. Do you remember the magic words? Yeah. Please. Please. Okay. Thank you, sorry. Okay, very good. So um, when you are asking for something, you're supposed to say thanks. Now, okay. when when the person um, listens to you and they do what you're asking, what are you supposed to say? Wait. So after they do your request, what are you supposed to say? Please. After. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now remember, when you ask, <laughs> fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you ask, you say please. 
Yes. When you receive the favor, you say thank, thank you. Thank right? You. Now, when you make mistakes, what do you say? No, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I apologize and all that. Okay, so we were using that. And also, we mentioned phrasal verbs. What is a phrasal verb? Two words, a verb and a preposition. Ver and uh -huh. the preposition change, change the meaning of the verb. Very good. Yes, when we talk about phrasal verbs, we use a verb plus the preposition. And if yes. you use a different preposition, you have a different meaning. Simple as that. Okay, um, any questions before we start with the first exercise? No. We're okay? Yes. All right, so I'm going to make groups. Um, make sure that everybody in the group talks everybody has to talk remember that when you're doing the when you're using the platform there is no interaction with anybody it's just you and the computer so this is your space to practice your fluency your accuracy pronunciation and all that so i'm going to make groups let me show you first uh the document See this here. You see the document? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So yes. It's, yes. It, it, it's, it's right here, but also I send it to the. Okay. Right? Yes, you send it to the WhatsApp chat. Exactly. So I'm going to make groups right now. Um, as you can see, in the first circle here, we have different phrasal verbs. Break down, throw away, break up, pay for, look after, laugh at, agree with, look for, hold on, go out with, look at, give up, run out, come round, let down, and forget about. So, what you need to do, you have to look for the definition of each phrasal verb and match them. Okay. Okay, okay. so I'm going to make the groups and see you in a minute. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Daniel, Daniel, and my cousin. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so we we have to to complete the exercise. Uh, you don't have to complete it. You just have to match the the phrasal verb with the definition. That's it. Okay. 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 So start talking. Okay, Janita. Hi, and Nelly. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Have somebody as a boyfriend or girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. mm. Okay. Or look for. Somebody has a boyfriend. Okay, I see that. Oh, what do you think? Um, have have somebody go out somebody. with no. Have you some have, have somebody, somebody in L somebody? Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if if nobody, we can continue. You, what do you think? 
Yeah, yeah. If, if, if you don't know the answer uh, with one, you can skip it and go to the next one. We can wrap it up. Good. Good. Uh, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Broke out. Break up. Break, Break up. up. Yes, I consider the answer. Break up. Yes. The next one. Put something in the dust. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. one. What what's the meaning of stop B? Stop B. Or oh, stop like, this and no. Stop. No. Dust no. It's like the, the, the place where you put the trash. Mm. Like, like basurero, really? right? Which one? The dust stop bin. bin. Was stop what is or stop? It's like basurero, uh -huh. no? Right, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a trash can, garbage can. Okay. Okay, if you want to skip <laughs> pass. <laughs> You're going to skip all of them. Exist stop. Touch, touch, pin. This, this, I don't know the word. Put something in the dish. No sé qué dice. Because you don't want, want it. I think it could be. You don't want. Those, those number two throw away to spin to spin I don't know no se puede no voy a poner. Lo vamos anotando quizás cada uno. Uh -huh. Why are you talking Spanish? <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. So which one are you doing? Have some barriers. Come I guess the the number two is with the second <laughs> sentence. The no the three break up with the second sentence. Do you hear me? Yes, we hear you. The, the number three is with the second sentence, but I can see the sentences. I want to see the first sentences. Can you move, please? I can see the sentences. Ay, lo siento, se me está desconectando el, la aplicación. Le voy a volver a compartir el documento. Okay, do you see it now, Roberto? Yeah, yeah, I can. Thanks. Okay. Look, uh, um, uh, the, the number eight is with the last sentence. Look, look for, for goes for look, no look for with the last sentences. Uh-huh. That is correct. 
and uh, uh, I want to see the sentence again. Okay. Your answer is good. Okay, thanks. But I want to see the first sentence. Oh. Okay. Persons, no. Stop being with somebody, for example. Uh, break up. The number three with the second sentence. Break up. Yes. Good. With the sec, we stop being with somebody, for example, a husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Break up. Guadalupe, Xiomara, Daniel, what do you think? Uh, this answer is good. Okay. Not do something that you promised to for somebody. Yeah, it's three. It's three. Break up. Hi. 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 Sorry, we made something. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are in the in the perfect moment to do the three. Oh. Last. <laughs> okay. We're taking an exam right now. Or the first. Yes, huh? and you have to explain. Really? The, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to explain all the phrase yes. phrase words we saw this. Maybe I have problems. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't Finish. know. Remember the meeting. We need to uh, put that meaning of that at the end of the phrase. Yes. It's difficult. I look for the first number. <laughs> okay. First one. Did you make something? No. Okay. The first one have somebody has a boyfriend or girlfriend. Break up. Mm. Or girlfriend. Mm -hmm. hey. Boyfriend or hey. girlfriend. Maybe Break it's down. the second it? set. Break down. Stop. What? what? Stop being um, with somebody. Break up. Go out with. Is this a, go out with. Mm -hmm. Because we have something as a girlfriend mm -hmm. or, or boyfriend. Somebody. As a boy, I'm, I'm going or... out with some someone. For example, oh, let me let me check the the red one. Stop being mm -hmm. with somebody. For example, a husband, or wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Stop being. Break. Ah, that is the meaning, up. and we need to know that it's a meaning of that 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 uh, word. Yes, yes, you have to match the, the phrasal verb to the definition. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the second one, yes, is that break, break up. Okay. Oh, oh, because they just stop into being a, um, a relationship. Go away. And, ah, no, no, no. For example, a husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend stop being with somebody. I'm going up with. Put something in the top, please, because you don't want. Oh, yes, go out with. Hold Thank on, you. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Body, body. Body. Do for somebody have the same idea as another person or something. Something, no, have something in your mind or more. Have no more of some. Break down, throw, throw away, break up. What the meaning? What the meaning? Dustbin. 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 It's like a trash can. A trash can. Yeah. 
You don't want it. Maybe threw away. The number two. Threw away. Yes. Yes. No. Throw away. away. The number three threw away. Throw, throw away. Mm. Number four. Four. I said four. No, no, do something that you promise to do for somebody. Not do something that you promise to do for promise. somebody. Promise. Promise. Yes. Promise. Right. Yeah, I need more money. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you you build website? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you you make or design website? No, I I make the the content of uh -huh. the website i i write uh, i cor corregir texto i i don't know what the uh, what correct. Do you say? Correct. Yeah, correct correct i correct text mm -hmm. and and a lot of stuff uh, always related with with write and think and brainstorming and Stuff like that. Yeah, good, good. Uh, I, I, I do things like that, but I don't like it. To be honest, I prefer uh, make code. <laughs> you, you prefer what? Sorry. Uh, make or type code to, ah. in order to build a website. Ah, okay. That is difficult, yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it must be difficult. You need to memorize all the command. Yes, my God. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's so easy when, when you like mm. whatever thing that you do. It, mm -hmm. it's easy. You have fun when you do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Did you guys finish with the exercise? Yeah. Okay. And now you were talking about the things you do in your office. Exactly. That's good. That's good. All right. So I think we have about one more minute before we return to the main session. So you guys have one more minute to talk. Okay. Right. Okay. In fact, we discover a what was the the, la, the, the last ad? The what was the number six? Number Half six. Ad. Love out. I don't know the meaning of love out. Does anybody know the meaning of laugh at? And it's similar to be glad. Sumara? Laugh at usually it's when you make fun of somebody. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay. We, okay, we have one more minute and then we're going to the main session. Okay. Okay, we have we, we have the this example. Have no more go away. Put something ah, in the dust. Three. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, well. Nelly, are you sleeping or what? No. <laughs> uh, okay, speak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah. The number four says say that not do something that you promise to do for somebody. Not do something that you now. That is look let out, down. no? Let, let down. What? Uh -huh, yeah, let down. Yes, let down. Let down. Which one? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, we have one more minute before we change mm -hmm. activity. One more minute. Ah, okay. Uh, I think maybe it's another this. person about something. Agree, agree with everybody. Uh -huh. Everybody with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, remember, not remember something, not have something in your mind anymore. The last one, forget about. Ah, forget about. Okay. And another say have no more of something. Something. Daniel. You guys hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, so everybody should be coming back. All right, were you able to finish all the exercises? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to share um, the answers of the exercises uh, in the chat. So you guys confirm uh, whether your answers were good or not. So um, let me show you this. Um, you see the, uh, the image? Yes. 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 Okay. What's the name of the article? Neighbors. Okay. Has that ever happened to you that you have, well, not necessarily you, but you see some of your neighbors that they have conflict uh, with them? Yes. What are some of the reasons why neighbors sometimes they have conflict? Their noise. <laughs> okay, the noise. What else? They want to share that part. They want to? 
to to share the the park the parking oh yeah. parking yeah parking can be a, a conflict yes other reasons why neighbors Good. have conflict they never clean her they, their yard exactly exactly any other they, reasons they cut the cable of their internet <laughs> 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 yeah, it's true. <laughs> I don't know why, but they cut the trees and, and my my cable too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the article, they, they explain that sometimes we think that they do it on purpose, but they're just accidents. You know. <laughs> but, but but sometimes people take it uh, personal, like oh he's doing it on purpose, but that's not the case. Okay, so you guys mentioned parking, noise, uh, they don't clean. Uh, any other reasons why neighbors fight uh, with each other? Pets. Um, pets. For pets. pets. Okay, what about pets? And uh, the dogs. dogs. What about the, dogs? The noise. The uh, neighbor uh, hate my dog. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't Why? know. You see the chat? Yes, bark. What is bark? Ladrar. Ladrar. Right, right. And the uh, dogs okay. make necessities and our infernal door. Exactly. Exactly. And, and and the owner doesn't clean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You went out. Just... Yeah, I mean and, and it's I think that if you have an animal, you're responsible for the animal. You should clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and another neighbor uh, are not are responsible. Exactly, exactly. And they expect another person to clean for them, you know. Okay. All right. So let's do some reading. I need the first volunteer to read the introduction here. Anybody? Okay. Who wants to read? I will. Okay. Thank you, Corina. The woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. Mm -hmm. Family, ac okay. Family across the street never, never did, never clean. Mm -hmm. After yard, the garbage blows into your yard. Uh huh. And the last one. The guy next door always park his car in front of your driveway okay now imagine that your neighbor thank you corina imagine that your neighbor she starts playing the piano after midnight what is the solution for that depends on the song <laughs> <laughs> maybe it could be relaxing hear the piano <laughs> classic oh, oh, big music <laughs> Yes. We, we have you <laughs> for a new house. <laughs> Probably the yeah you relation right. She might be the next talent, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let it now, be. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but uh, now imagine like pianos in El Salvador are not too common. You know, maybe the guitar. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, or the Drums. Battery. Battery. Uh -huh. drums. Drums. Yes, drums. Drums. Like this. Drums. Okay. So what would be a good solution if you have a neighbor and this neighbor plays an instrument after midnight? What would you say to him or her? What's the solution? I, I think you you can Maybe talk with your neighbor. Uh, okay, Lucrecia. Okay, I think mm -hmm. you you can talk with your neighbor and 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 tell that uh, you have 
uh, we have to make a schedule at what time uh, he can play the instrument. Okay. I don't know, make, make, uh, make rules. Sure. Uh, for the noise. Exactly. Everybody wants to sleep. Yeah. Yes. Right? Or maybe you can suggest, look, learn my favorite melody at least. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I, I'm looking for a new house. Mm -hmm. You will look for a new house. Yeah. And you know, believe it or not, sometimes people change houses because of the neighbors. Yes. You know, they like the house, they like the location, but the problem is the neighbor. That's that's a little bit sad. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about the second scenario? Your neighbors, they never clean and uh, some of that garbage goes to your house. What do you say in that case? Somebody? I had that problem. Really? Yes. And, and, had, I, uh -huh. and I had to talk with my neighbor. Okay. What, what did you say? I went to his house. I went to his house. Big fight. <laughs> you went to the house. I mm -hmm. I wait. I wait until until they put the garbage near of my house. Okay. And then I went to to his house and 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 talked to him. Yeah. And. And problem, problem solved. Oh, so they listen to you. Yes, thank oh, that's you. Good. That's good. That's good. Good. But I had to wait too much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and it's good when you are patient because nobody likes to have problems, especially with okay. your neighbor. That's the place where you live. Okay, in the last scenario, uh, your neighbor parks his car in front of your house. What's the solution? Annie, what do you think? And the uh, last. Yes, like if, if your neighbor is always parking his car, in front of your house. Yes. Put an stone in front of your door or something like yes, that. Yes, I saw. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Annie, it's what the will best be a solution? Way to solution. Yeah. The solution. The solution is the my dog. Uh, dog. <laughs> Sorry, it's my dog. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> uh, now I I go another park. Another park. Okay. No, in front of my house. Okay. Okay. I, I have a problem. Yes. <clears throat> um, in in my uh, neighborhood, uh, there is a uh, some some guys, no, some uh, some students, uh -huh. students. Uh, they uh, every night play soccer. Oh my! In in, in this part mm -hmm. of the of the neighborhood, there is not a cars parking. They drive, they, there is no driveway, and this is the, there is a, a street free, and they play football and hit the walk of my house with uh -huh. the ball, and there is very uh, bad for for my family and my, and my, and I when we want to rest right 
but uh, I think it's better day. Okay. I prefer these children <laughs> uh, in, in comparison to another person. Right. You know, so, yeah, so it's not too serious. Just, just, just uh, children, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, it happens. it happens. But just like you said, compare with other problems, that's nothing. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so let's start with the reading. I need a volunteer to read the first part, the first paragraph. I want to. Okay, uh, Daniel. Okay. okay. Have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? Okay, any questions there? It says, why are they doing this to me? Because sometimes you think they do it on purpose. Okay, uh, another volunteer to read the second part. Me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, these days many people don't know their, na their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors names when you don't know someone it's easy to build up frustration and resentment you think maybe they like to annoy me or maybe they do it deliberate okay deliberately very good so this is what i was saying sometimes we think that neighbors do things on purpose but sometimes it's so normal for them that they don't know that they're causing you problems okay uh, another volunteer to read the next paragraph i want yes please believe it or not your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you irritate often, you irritate you often they don't even know that they are getting getting on your nerves nerves so nerves so before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. Exactly. So before you make any decisions, it's always better to speak to them first. Okay, uh, another volunteer for the next paragraph? Me. Yes, Annie, thank you. Uh, when you approach your neighbor, you should take to them in a friendly manner compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good then explain the situation and if you can think of a simple solution you suggest it okay good so you know like before you talk with your neighbor start by saying something positive something nice Okay, uh, may I have two more volunteers? The next one is going to All be right. the first, next three lines. Yes, okay. Christina. Is talking doesn't work as another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story, the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. All right. So sometimes you might need a third person to intervene and see if, if this person comes with a solution. Okay, and, and the last three lines, another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, who said me? And finally, sometimes it's not a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it might be the best is just to stay out of the neighbor's way. Exactly. All right. Do we have any questions about pronunciation or meaning? The last word we get in the first paragraph. Delivery. Okay. 
Okay, what was the question? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was uh, the pronunciation about the, the last line and the first part of the last yeah. word. Yeah. This one here? Yeah, this one. Yeah, deliberately. 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 Yeah, deliberately. Yeah, deliberately. Deliberately. And the meaning is when you do something on purpose. The meaning is when you do something on purpose. Deliberately. Okay, what else? What else do we have? I send the, the word to the chat. Approach. Approach. Okay. Approach. Yes. Let's see the chat. Uh, okay. Uh, approach. Approach. What means approach? What is the meaning of approach? Okay. Does anybody know the meaning of approach? A la par. No. Not exactly. So close. Uh, uh, approach. Near? Like, no. It's related with focus. Okay, approach. Close approach means to physically be near a person. In Spanish, we say acercársele. Ah, okay. So you say, me le voy a acercar para tratar el tema. So I'm going to approach my neighbor to talk about okay. the problem. Okay. Okay, what else? What other vocabulary do we have here? Is that it? Now let me ask you. Teacher, when, yes? Uh, com complete, complement? Uh, compliment. Compliment. Where's where, where's the word? Uh, is in the. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yes. It's compliment. Yes. Compliment. Yes, compliment. In this case, it's compliment. compliment. And what is the meaning? Com compliment means to say something nice about something or somebody. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So, it's true. So what they're saying is, before, be, before you approach the neighbor, it's necessary that you say something good before you uh, start talking about the issue. Issue? Yes, about the problem. Uh, okay. So you can say, oh, your 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 flowers are very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you. Exactly. And then you talk about the problem. Or maybe you can say something positive about the house. Hey, the colors of your house are really nice. You know, and then you talk about the problem. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so compliment means to say something good. Issue is a synonym of problem. Problem. So you say, I have an issue in my office. We don't have a bond paper, for example. Okay, thank. Okay. Uh, anything else? Any other words that you are not familiar with? People? It's okay. Is everything fine? I think. Okay. <laughs> so... So what, what is the best way to approach your neighbors? What is the best way to approach your neighbors if you have a problem? First is get a compliment to him or her and then say the, the problem or the issue. 
Very good. That's a good suggestion. Always say something positive before you approach the issue. Very good. Any other ideas of how to solve the uh, maybe, problem? Maybe talk the problem in a good moment. Exactly. Where, where both are in a good uh, mood. situation in my, yes, mood. That Very mood. good. That's a good suggestion. Wait for the perfect moment. Keep, keep calm and uh -huh. where where this situation okay keep calm yeah that that is one because you know that many times conflict they end up in tragedies for something very small yeah you know people kill each other for for a parking space they they kill each other for for the dog was Barking too much. I mean, like little things, little things. Yes. Any other suggestions? No. Maybe you can you can give your neighbor I don't know something to eat. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a good yes. beginning. Now, if you know that you have to speak with your neighbor, and that's a very good technique. Maybe, let's say, for two or three days, you give this person a little something, a candy, whatever, because you already plan that you're going to have to talk about the problem, right? Yes. So that's a good technique. Give something to your neighbor, maybe candy, cake, food, <laughs> something. Right? I I think that uh, any anybody can resist to pan dulce <laughs> bread. <laughs> with bread. Exactly. Nobody can say no. Nobody can say no. <laughs> yeah, especially if you put some coffee in it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. All right. Um, any other questions or suggestions of how to approach your neighbor if you have a problem with him or her? No? No. No. So I think that you can solve problems the easy way and, and it's always good to, to have a communication and express what the problem is. So if you don't have any questions or any other comments, we're going to stop here and I'll be seeing you Monday, same place, same time. Okay. 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 So have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I have good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I yes. have good night. We, we don't have classes tomorrow. We have classes until Monday. Monday. Yes, until yes. Monday. Yes. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 B